Hi guys, just putting stuff out for the waste recycling or the rubbish collection, whatever words you prefer to use. Now notice we've got this empty box of tissues. So we're going to make a rubber band powered car with it. Nothing difficult, just put some drinking straws either end for the axle tubes. I'm sure I can find some wheels already made up, CDs and plastic bottle tops. So we'll just demonstrate the principle on how to do it. Got some plastic drinking straws here. These are actually the wrong type to use. I mean you could be green I suppose and use paper ones but the reason these are the wrong ones to use is they're a bit thin. I like to use ones that are at least double that size because when you put your bamboo skewer through there or barbecue skewer although it's a loose fit it's not as loose as a larger drinking straw so it will work with these but it won't free wheel quite as well you could use something as big as that <laughs> but we'll use these little ones we could hot glue them on the end or today we'll just use tape Right, you need them to stick out a little bit either side so that when the wheels are on there they don't rub against the bodywork. So if we cut that one about the same length. One reason for using a nice cardboard box is it means your axles will be parallel which helps to make sure it goes straight. And one thing to remember when you put your tape on is not to let it go down flat and lose the end. Oh, there it is. the end now. Right, if we were making it balloon powered, we could just put the axles through now and stick the balloon on top and it would work. But we do actually want to wrap a rubber band round the axle so we need to cut a gap in there. My sharp knife would be a good start. So keep your fingers out of the way. Okay, we've got a nice gap in there, so when the axle's in place, we can wrap the rubber band around it. Right, we'll have a short delay here because the battery's just about to rub out, run out on the camera. Okay, so I'm going to cheat now. 
I can use these wheels and axles off of this car. I keep reusing my wheels because once you've made them, there's no point in throwing them away. These ones, bottle cap, sticky tape just to hold it in position, hole through the middle. Same on both sides. These ones, bottle cap, hot glued in place. So you can use hot glue if you want, or you can just use sticky tape. Right, on that car I'd use plastic beads to keep the, body, the wheels away from the body. On this one, we don't need plastic beads. Because those drinking straws will do that for us. If you check the video description, there's a link to my help files that will show you how to make these CD wheels if you can't just work it out from watching what we've got here. And when you push the wheels on make sure you've got a little bit of a gap there because that will make sure you minimize the friction as well. And I have to collect all those beads together. Okay. Right, we're virtually ready. What we need to do is have a rubber band from there to the front somewhere. So probably easiest if we just make a hole there somewhere. rubber bands got far too many there Let's see if we can take one off without breaking it and these rubber bands are cheap ones from Poundland and they don't last very long once you start Playing around with them. It's a quick way to get rid of it. Yeah, that should be about long enough. Poke it through there. Poke it through there. Put that through there. And then that one, down through there, I need to wrap it around the back axle. So this is the way I do it, I just wrap it around 
so it goes over itself and holds itself in place. You could cut the end of your bamboo skewer off, glue it on there in a T shape and use it as a hook to connect your rubber band onto. But I think that'll do for me. Looks like we'll get wheel spin, it's a bit lightweight. So we could add weight to reduce that. Because the other thing you could do is cut off the ex excess bamboo. I leave it on there because I keep reusing these for the next project. And that might be bigger, so I leave them full length. fine if somebody hadn't left their shoes there. We'll give that another run. We have visitors tonight. pointed it left that time to stop it hitting the right hand side and we hit the left hand side which means it's going straight believe it or not meters no trouble whatsoever just one final thing before I do the summary some people ask about doing it front wheel drive instead of rear wheel drive problem with front wheel drive like proper front wheel drive car is you tend to get wheel spin. Don't know if you saw that then. I didn't wind it up any more than I did for the rear wheel drive. Alright, let's see if we can see it. <laughs> Plenty of wheel spin that time. time it went okay. So as long as you don't wind it up too much you'll probably be okay. Depends what sort of distance you're trying to get or speed. Yeah, as soon as you wind up a bit more you get wheel spin. So my advice is to go for rear wheel drive, but you can do exactly the same as you do for rear wheel drive. You can put extra weights on the front and that will hold it down. Or just don't wind it up quite so much. Summary time. What have we got? We've got a tissue box that I've just taped drinking straws either end. For the axle tubes, cut a big, big hole out of this end so we've got access to the axle. 
The axles are bamboo canes. The wheels are CDs with bottle caps either taped to the middle or hot glue to the middle so that that holds the axle in place. Uh, need a hole at the front there to get the rubber band through. So the rubber band goes through there and round the back axle. You could glue a piece of wood on there, T-shaped, to use as a hook to put your rubber band on, but I prefer just to wrap the rubber band round the axle so it holds itself in place. And that's it. Job done.